Alright guys, welcome back to another video. I am here to explain to you guys, or tell you guys my top couple ways, maybe five ways to fish the bay here in San Diego. My favorite ways that has been producing for me for the past couple years and is still produced and a lot of people has been asking me to make this video. So I'm going to start off with, let's see what bait I got for you guys. I picked a couple of stuff out just to get you guys, give you guys an idea of what I use in the bay and what has been producing for me. So. Let's get started with the jig heads. Darter heads, round jig heads. Here I got a couple, I got two sizes that I use the most. These are the round owner, owner heads are here, owner jig heads. These things, uh, they retail for about, I think like four to five bucks. And this right here, this one is a three eighth ounce for a little bit heavier, you know, deeper, deeper part of the channel, water, bay, whatever more of the natural look i usually go quarter ounce or a little bit lighter like 1 8 or 3 16 but either one will work it has a perfect long shank it's been producing for me i caught big big bat rays with these i caught big spotties with this calicos with this it works real fine another option is the darter heads they're similar to the round heads but they're darter heads the hook shank is a lot shorter way shorter than usual than um than these owner heads right here. So I also use these all the time for shorter baits, smaller baits, like two inch baits, two and a half inch baits. But these are perfect, quarter and three eighth ounces, all I go to, or lighter, give or take, depending on current, how deep we're fishing and how natural you want your bait to look. What I use for those, the, pla the soft plastics I use for those is mainly Kytex. I always use Kytex. It's a specific color that will work for everyone that has been producing for me the most is the smallmouth magic in the 2.8 fat swing and you got the electric shad you can also get this in a fat swing but this is just a swing impact the standard but it works just as good so these two are my go-to there's other colors too you want to go a little bit of brown pumpkin those work fine too but these two are my favorite color electric shad and smallmouth magic right there also on those uh, like the darter heads, you can you can easily rig these guys up with darter heads, round heads, perfect fit. Also for the dart, um, for another rig I use is let's say drop shot. Drop shot is one of the most efficient way to fish San Diego Bay, Mission Bay, anywhere really. So what I use is not specifically tungsten. But I use about half ounce and below, all the way down to eighth ounce, quarter ounce, three sixteen. Only because you know current, you, you don't know if the current's going to be strong. It's always good to have different different sizes from half ounce all the way down. You can even go one ounce if you want, if you want to get it way out there in like 20, 30 feet of water. But drop shot weight with these uh, slide clip thingies, they work just fine. The hooks I usually use is the size one mosquito hook. People use split shot, drop shot hooks, octopus hooks, circle hooks, but I always use mosquito hooks. They seem to work the best for me. So, drop shot, bam. And the baits I use for drop shot is either tiny flukes, especially in this color right here. It's a bait fish. Works year round here in the bay. You can also throw this bait on the, jaw, the dart heads. It'll fit just fine and it, it does produce. Also, for drop shot and dart heads, you can use two inch sandworm. You guys know me for these infamous sandworms right here. These guys will catch you anything and everything in the bay. I know a lot, not a lot of people like the gulp sandworms or gulp products because of the smell, the bag leaks, but it produces fish. If I do get a bag, I use it for one trip and I either give it away or trash it. I don't like to bring this home and it just leaks all over the place. It dries out. So I'd rather have the trash can have it or an angler nearby and have the pack. Also for drop shot, I use mullet. Mullet is a very, very, very good bait. Really good bait, great bait. You can get this in any color. I recommend camel, which is the same color as these camel worms right here. These work good as drop shot, round jig heads, darter jig heads. This is curly tail action, single tail curly tail action. These mullet curly tails right here. These guys produce, you can get them from two inch, three inch, four inch. I don't know what sizes to make, but the standard size, four inch. Everyone uses these in San Diego. You can use it anywhere along the coast. It'll produce. My color is camel or red or brown or even natural. 
I rarely ever use any fluorescent pink, white, or chartreuse. They do work. I usually use that, those colors at night, but I rarely ever fish at night, so I don't need it. Also, another alternative for grubs, curly tails, or anything like that will be these fat alberts. I would definitely get something more natural. This is just the color we have here in stock. This is only the color I have left. I usually get like pumpkin seed, um, root beer, green pumpkin, lavender, glimmer blue. They work really well. And these are very, very, very cheap. These are about like four bucks a pack, 250, give or take where you find it. So that's another way. Those are the soft plastics you can use with drop shot. With the jig heads, you can also throw those on jig heads too. Moving on to the next rig that I usually use the most in the bay is underspins. Underspin, underspin, underspin. They produce. I use cool bait specifically or fish head. The only reason I use fish head is because they have a longer shank. I don't have any with me right now. You guys are pretty sure you guys seen them in my videos. But fish in the bay, I would go from 3 16 all the way to 3 8 ounce and 3 quarter ounce or half ounce. But this is only when I'm on a skiff fishing a really, really deep structure, like 30, 40 feet, 20 feet. But if you want the more natural look, go with 3 8 ounce, quarter ounce, maybe a half ounce if the current's ripping. But these guys produce. You can throw any trailer on these guys. You can throw Kitex on these guys. Flukes on these guys. Mullets on these guys. You can throw anything. Curly tail, all that. A lot of people use three inch swim baits, paddle tails, etc. Me, I use Kitex for these guys all day, every day. Unless you got, you know, Gary Yamamoto, Zakos work well. Anything with a nice paddle, not too big, not too long. But the bigger the bait, the bigger the fish, they say. It doesn't matter to me. I like to throw small baits less pressure and anything will bite it from five inch, two inch fish, all the way up to the 25 inch halibut. So underspin is another way to go. Moving on to the next style of fishing I usually do in the bay that always produces for me, uh, various species would be irons. Any kind of irons, as long as it's blue, white, pink, it don't matter. Oh well, yeah, any color really works. Just put it in their face, they'll bite. What I use is a dual drag metal or the major crab jig pars. I either use 20 gram if I want to launch it out there and work, you know, the middle middle column pretty steadily fast. 20 gram would be would be a good size if you want to cast it way out there and slow retrieve it all the way in without touching the bottom. You'll get bass, mackerel, bonito, even yellowtail if you use this offshore, barracuda, pretty much everything in the bay will bite this. And if you go with the smaller side, you can go a little slower retrieve, hugging the bottom a little bit more without snagging up on anything. So you can go from 5 gram, 10 gram, 15 gram, all the way up to 20 gram to 40 gram if you want. I've seen guys use 40 gram in the bay and catch pretty decent spotties with it. 15 gram is the sweet spot. You can work it up top, middle, low column, everywhere in the bay. You can bounce it at the bottom, vertical jig it. You can vertical jig with all these from the docks, pilings, everything. They'll bite it. I've seen halibut get caught with this, bass, calicos, everything has been caught with iron. These are the most versatile, easiest way to fish and cast in San Diego Bay. It doesn't always produce, but it will produce. Trust me in this one. You guys see my videos, they produce. Last but not least, hard baits. I'm not gonna say any top water spooks or anything like that because not everyone knows how to work a top water bait. It's pretty simple, there's a term called walking the dog. If you guys know that, then yes, top water will apply to you. But I'm gonna move to something that a lot of people are starting to use nowadays and a lot of people has been using that produces all kinds of fish would be jerk baits from different depths. So I'm gonna start off with the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow. Very hype bait here in San Diego. Everyone uses the Flash Minnow. You can use this in the surf, in the bay, off the rocks, off a skiff. This is like more middle column kind, you know, like maybe six, seven feet, depending on how you work it. I don't know, I, all I know is that I catch fish on it. Corvina, halibut, spotties, calicos, everything bites this. But there is a time and day to throw this bait. Sometimes if you put in enough time into this bait, you will get something big, you will be rewarded. So this is like the standard everyone uses Lucky Craft. If you want to move on to like a little deep diver, a little, you know, a little deeper, I recommend the Rapala or Rapala, however you guys pronounce it, Shadow Wrap. This is the deeper diver. Any color will really work, you know, just match the hatch. I can't be specific what color to tell you guys to really use, but try to match the hatch. Try to look as natural as possible. If not, try something different. They might like something different. But I recommend the shadow wrap, the deep diving shadow wrap. This dives up to, I think, about four to eight feet right here. 
and it's a sinking jerk bait. So you can let it cat, you can cast it out, hit the water, count to 15, and then start working it or dive deeper. I've seen halibut caught with this, calicos, and even corvina caught with this. You guys see my video? The corvina smash. They smash. They smash the hell out of these jerk baits. The cheaper alternative, what got me into the jerk bait game, would be the Ima Flit or Ima Flit 120. By far, my favorite jerk bait to throw, besides dual. Dual is great too, but Ima, it's a light jerk bait, but it gets the job done. Specifically, this color, American Shad. If you can find it in American Shad for top water or jerk bait, grab it. This is like a year round bait right here. Everything will bite it. Shit, you not. So, if you guys ever get a chance, pick one of these up. Never caught a jerk bait fish before? Just cast this. Don't stop. You can pop it, retrieve. For all the jerk baits, there's several retrieves that I do. There's the, you know, couple pops, pause. Couple pop, pause. Or slow crank, pause. Slow crank, pause. Or keep slow cranking. It'll just keep fluttering. Or you can burn it, stop. Burn it, mix it up. Work it however you think the fish is, you know, get the fish to strike. Reaction. Also, I want to mention to work these bait, how I work these guys, these round jig heads and darted jig heads is same thing. You can work it a million ways. You can pop it at the bottom, pop it at the top, round tip lifting, slow retrieve, fast retrieve. Just get them to bite. There's not really the right way to work these baits in the bay. Because I fished the bay for many years. I've done all kinds of weird crap out there with different baits and they bite. The whole point of fishing out there is to figure them out, figure out the pattern, figure out what they like, and stick to it. So if I'm throwing what I recommended to you guys and they decide to stick to, you know, they decide to stick to the, uh, the irons, the drag metals, I'll stick to the drag metal until that bite turns off. Keep cycling through, figure out the pattern, figure out the current, which way the bait's going, where the fish is biting. Then if they move to underspin, the underspin bites hot, stick to the underspin. That's how it usually works out here, you know, like you can't always, always go out there with a jerk bait and expect to catch fish every time you're out there with it. Or sometimes flukes might not even work good. And sometimes Kitek might not even work. Sometimes these might not even work. You know what? You just may as well just not even fish at all. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But you just cycle through, figure out the pattern. Just get out there, put in the time, put in work. You will be rewarded. So I hope what I listed for you guys will help you guys out a lot in the bay. It's a quick, fast video for you guys. My top baits, top rigs to use in the bay that will put you on a fish. If you guys are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video very informative. Other than that, as always, good fishing. Peace out.